Hello and welcome to Lady Wisdom Speaks Academy. My name is Dr. Katherine Constant and I am the author of the book Lady Wisdom Speaks. Lady Wisdom Speaks. Yes, I'm so happy to be with you today and we're going to do a book review. I have been doing a series of book reviews on the topic authority and the authority that God has given us through his word um, we, and we need to want to be taught by the Lord. Are you willing to be taught by the Lord? So I have some books here and these books are very informative and really great to partner with your Bible to help give you understanding of the Word of God. Revelation has been provided for us, but we need to be willing to be taught by the word and then also then put that word into practice hallelujah to be doers of the word and not just hearers only the three books that I have for you are this book by Kenneth um, E. Hagen is called The Believer's Authority The Believer's Authority and um, I spoke about this before but God has given us authority and he wants us to use it. And that authority is through the word of God. Do you see that sword? Yes, the word of God is the sword of the spirit. And then also he wants us to go before him in the courts of heaven. And this book is called Operating in the Courts of Heaven uh, by Robert Henderson. Operating in the Courts of Heaven by Robert Henderson. And then this is the third book by Robert Henderson and it's called Unlocking Destinies from the Courts of Heaven, Dissolving Curses that Delay and Deny Our uh, Futures. I'm going to read to you uh, what he has to say in the back. Robert Henderson is known as a, a manner of revelation and impartation. His teaching on the courts of heaven, the apostolic, signs and wonders, the seven mountains, and numerous other topics empower people with hidden truths revealed. Angel Trumpet Tree. Wow. Look at the beautiful blooms. Early in the morning they open and trumpet the sounds of praise with the birds. Do you see their beauty? The beautiful pinks. Scattered throughout the tree. In this wonderful garden of love and peace and joy. I'm going to read for you a section from the book, uh, Unlocking Destinies from the Courts of Heaven. And this is what he says in the preface. The book is a follow-up to my book, Operating in the Courts of Heaven, granting God the legal right to fulfill his passion and answering our prayer. In the second volume of the Operating the Courts of Heaven series, I talk about how to unlock the destinies of our lives and even nations from the legal dimension of the spirit. I would strongly urge the first book in this series to be read as well as this one. Reading the first book will definitely help in understanding this one fully. 
And this is what I find really, really important. Each one of us has a book in heaven with our destiny and purpose recorded in it. And you can find that in Psalms 139.16. This book in heaven is the reason we were created and exist in the earth. It is the Lord's passion to see us fulfill this destiny. The problem is our arch enemy, the devil, also passionately desires to keep us from that destiny. If he could keep us out of our destiny, he can stop the purposes of God in the earth. Our destiny and God's purposes are irrevocably joined. One of his chief weapons to do this is the landing and operating of curses. In the next pages, we will discover what some of these curses are and how to remove them from our lives. When this is done, freedom will come for us to walk into the futures God has planned for us. Frustration carried for even the duration of our lives will end and satisfaction in life and living will be realized. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. You have a destiny. And God wants to fulfill that destiny in your life. Hallelujah. So we need to learn how to pray effectively to remove those curses. And you know what he's saying is true. Because when we go to the doctor, the doctor asks you, um, tell me your family history. Do you have heart uh, problems in your family? Do you have diabetes in your family? Does alcoholism run in your family or drug addiction? They ask you, what are some of the ailments that are in your family? And you tell them what runs through your family history um, as far as your physical body. Well, it's the same thing in the spirit. That's what curses are all about. They are family um, diseases and things that have hindered your family members, things that were done by your great-grandfather and your father and from others, and that affects you. You know that that's true because even in our community, a lot of the gangs and the, the things that have been happening, it's become generational, passed down from one family to the, to the next. And the devil would want to kill, steal, and to destroy. But Jesus Christ has come that we may have life and that more abundantly. And if we as the body of Christ, the church, the ecclesia, take our authority and do the work that God has called us to do, then we can remove the curses through the blood of Jesus. Not we removing, but we can ask the Holy Spirit, we can ask the Father God, the righteous judge, to remove these curses and these things that hinder us and strongholds that are destroying our families and then we can see our destinies fulfilled god's purpose and his plans for our lives god wants our purpose to be fulfilled more than we do because it is his purpose it's his plan and if we fall in line with him we're going to find ourselves having a wonderful and exciting future god has great things in store he has an abundant life for us. He says, I've come that they may have life and that more abundantly. But Satan has come to kill, to steal, and to destroy. Hallelujah. But he says, I've come. Hallelujah. I have to say it again. He says, I've come that they may have life and that more abundantly. Praise the Lord. Praise the Lord from whom all blessings flow. And remember these books. Um, Check them out on Amazon. Hallelujah. First of all, remember Lady Wisdom Speaks, my book. You can get it on Amazon. And then Unlocking Destinies from the Courts of Heaven, Robert Henderson's book. And then, of course, the um, sequel, a series Operating in the Courts of Heaven by Robert Henderson. And I believe you can still get this book um, on Amazon, The Believer's Authority by Kenneth E. Hagen. If not, you can check out his website, the Raymer Bible Institute. Uh, the Raymer Institute, they will also have this book available. Yes, it, hopefully it's still in print. But it's a powerful book. Hallelujah. 
and check out these, this information because we want to win. God has already won the victory for us, but we've got to want to, to do our part so that we can be winners, overcomers through the blood of Jesus. It's not just about battling on the battlefield, but it's also about going into the courts of heaven and decreeing and declaring that which belongs to us. Hallelujah in Jesus' name. And then to be doers of the word, to manifest the blessings of God here on earth. Time for morning meditation in the garden. Sitting in my chair, talking and speaking Hallelujah to the Lord, having and holding those intimate conversations of peace and love, enjoying his presence amongst the flowers and hearing the beautiful sound of the birds, people moving to and fro. However, our morning meditations Oh, the joys, oh, the joys. Hallelujah. Thank you, Jesus, for everything. Thank you, thank you, thank you, thank you. And that is, hmm, by the way, hmm, that is a tool for you. I want you to say that even now. Thank you, Jesus, for everything. Come on, say it with me. Come on. Thank you, Jesus, for everything. For the word says, in everything, give thanks. For this is the will of God concerning you. And when things come up before you, the devil tempts you, or something bad happens, and instead of getting angry, get thankful, get glad, get happy in Jesus. Say, thank you, Jesus, for everything, because you know that God is going to help you and that you are an overcomer through his word. Hallelujah. And you'll be resisting the devil, and he will have to flee from you. Hello. And welcome to Lady Wisdom Speaks Academy. My name is Dr. Catherine Constant, and I'm the author of the book, Lady Wisdom Speaks. How are you today? I'm here in the Lady Wisdom Speaks Academy setting because I want to introduce to you a book called Operating in the Courts of Heaven um, by Robert Henderson. And it says here also, granting God the legal right to fulfill his passion and answer our prayers. This is what it looks like. And it's a wonderful thought because um, many times we see in the Bible that God is represented as the righteous judge. He is justice and he is truth. He believes in righteousness. He believes in things being done right. He provided the law. Hallelujah. In Exodus, he gave the children of Israel the Ten Commandments, the law. And so he is the righteous judge. And the courts of heaven are actually set up um, in a way that we need to go forth and present our testimonies. The Bible says we overcome by the blood of the Lamb and by the word of our testimonies. And when we go before the Lord Jesus Christ, when we go before the courtroom of heaven, and we go before the righteous judge, which is God our Father, and when we have the Holy Spirit, who is our advocate, he is our lawyer, our advocate, and we go before the righteous judge and we present our case 
with the Word of God. Hallelujah. We will be successful. And then we can make the request of God to provide our helpers. He's given His angels charge to keep us and to fulfill the Word. He is, the angels are our messengers. Hallelujah. That go out and they execute the Word of God in the Spirit. Hallelujah, so that we can have success. Speaks Academy on YouTube and be blessed. Well, um, if you like this video, then like, share, and subscribe. Comment down below. Let me know what you think. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Yes, and if you agree with me, just say amen. 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 Are you a learner? Are you willing to learn? Are you willing to be taught? I hope so. And Lady Wisdom is willing to teach us. So let us dive into the Word of God. Let us do what we need to do. Be able to pray. Hallelujah. Pray effective prayers. Be able to study the Word with diligence. Hallelujah. And then to be doers of the Word and not hearers only. Thank you, Jesus. Hallelujah. Lady Wisdom wants to, you to know that you are wonderful, you're beautiful, you're God's gift to the world. So go on out there and shine and let the world know that Jesus Christ is Lord. And see you next time on Lady Wisdom Speaks Academy. Bye!